everybody, welcome to the channel. I'm Belitra and this is Velarde Street Fairy. I'm going to jump right into the video today and I am going to be reviewing this hair that I'm wearing in my hair right now. So what this is, is the Free Tress Braid Pop and Twist. And this is what the stock card looks like, you guys. I'm actually going to show you some of the hair um, because I actually have some left. First things first, I used one pack and a half and this is in the color number one now i wish i would have did a 1d because i just feel like it would have looked a little bit more natural like it would have fit maybe not with my hair a little bit more so as you can see i left out the whole front of my hair so just across is my natural hair and everything behind is actually crochet this is the 3x Free puffed hair. Um, I never wear styles like this. I have never worn anything like natural looking like this aside from Olaf. And I actually like it a lot because this is a very, very, very low maintenance hairstyle and it's a protective hair. This is what the hair looks like. It comes in different lengths, but because I wanted mine to be like longer and not like an afro, I got the 28. I got the poppy twist 28 inches. So this is what the hair looks like. It's really, really curly, really coily. And that's what the ends of it looks like. So it stays like this unless you pull it out and separate it. I have one here that is a loose from the pack. As you can see, the ends are like this. See? And like that, but then if you pull it out, of course it gets more puffy because you and less defined so if you want to put this in and not have it so puffy then you want to put it in and kind of keep the clusters like this but that is the hair this is actually what the hair looks like after three months you guys i have had my hair like this for three months and this is partly how i would wear it or i would wear it down and i will show you guys that when I crochet it in, I actually left a side part here that you can't see because my hair has grown out so much to where you just can't see the parts. But if I take this down and I really like pull it out, you'll be able to see. So basically this hair does not tangle because it comes in little clusters like this. I could have shaped it, but it really was kind of like no point. Like I don't... I don't make a big deal about stuff like that. I don't really shape my hair much when I do it. So I don't care that it's like some long, some short. If people really love this hair, I was a little skeptical about it because it was big when I first got it done. I was just like, mm, I'm not really sure because I don't wear puffy hairstyles like this. But it actually lasted really long. It wasn't itchy. I didn't have to pre-wash it. If you have sensitive skin, that's probably something that you should do. This hair was like $12.99 per pack. If you need a hairstyle that's going to be protective, it's going to last um, you some months. If you need that long, then this is definitely one that you can do. Um, you can do the braids crochet. I actually did braids going straight back, and I think I did. Yeah, I did some going side and then straight back. So that I could have a side part. And like I said, I'll show y'all that in a few seconds. But the hair is really durable. It doesn't, um, it doesn't really tangle. It does get these little things at the end, but you can just pull those off. Um, I didn't get the hair wet, so I can't really say. Oh, yes, I did, I did. I got in the pool, I forgot. I did get in the pool with this hair and it dried. It was just fine. Um, so yeah, this is something that'll last you long term if you just want to see what it looks like before you buy it. This one is good where you can wear it loose like hers. This is how mine is. Um, it's just shorter. You can do the kinky twist and I'm sure it'll be good for twisting. And you can do this the butterfly lock style, which I think most people use this hair for. So if you guys have any questions that I didn't answer, um, leave the questions down below. I'll answer any questions that you guys have. I really just wanted to show you the hair and what it looks like after three months. And listen, 
I am not lying about them three months because honey, look at my braids. This hair has completely grown out. Like this is my braid. So I'm taking this out today. So I decided to go ahead and do a review so you guys can actually see this is three months of new growth. So I am not, this is not a sponsored video or anything like this. I just thought it would be able to help somebody if you're looking for like a affordable hairstyle that's gonna last a long time. This would be something that's really good for like kids. If you're having edges, like problems with your edges, which I was, and they're growing back now. Um, just to leave them alone, leave the whole thing out. Leave all of this out, put your oils, put your, you know, growth drops and stuff like that. Just leave it alone. This is a good hairstyle if you have natural hair. It'll blend with your hair. You won't have to worry about doing too much in the morning. Just keep this part moisturized. Keep it on. Because my hair has been in a ponytail half up, half down for so long, it has so much volume. Like, it was not this big before, but it is because it's been in that upward position for a while. And so this is what it looks like. And before I put it up in half up, half down, I was literally just taking this part, tucking it behind my ear. If you don't want the hair in your face, like you really just don't want it forward, then you can take some bobby pins and just pin it in place um, so that it stays backwards. But this is my part, y'all. Look at this part. You can't even see it. It's like separated completely at this point because like I said, it's been so long, but I did do it so that if I wanted a deeper part, I could put it over here and have it like really in my face, but that's not, that's not what I, it's, it's not that comfortable to do but just know that when you first do this style it's really not going to look like in this area it's not going to look so so like this puffy because my hair has grown out so much and that's what actually makes it look like really really natural because this is actually a braid and as you can see this is super 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 growing out that was a part right there so i mean to me the the older the hairstyle is the better it looks and the nat more natural it looks but i mean like the hair is always gonna look natural because that's just the type of texture that it is and now that i took it down it's like oh my gosh i don't really want to take it out but it's time to wash my hair and it's time to you know treat my hair and put some conditioner and i definitely will do this style again but I think I want to try it in like a number two because that's like a more, you know, natural looking. I used to only do number one for hair color, but I think, I don't know, I don't know, maybe one B or two is what I will go for. Because for me, it's just a little bit dark and um, my natural hair is just not this dark normally. As you can see, it's just like a tinge lighter. I don't know if you can see it on camera or not, but I think the perfect match would be probably a 1B for me. And so it would definitely look natural. I think the girl at work is like, how do you get your hair to grow so long? And I'm like, girl, it's not my hair. Which I don't mind telling people it's not my hair at all. But yeah, this hair is really nice. It lasted me for a long time. It did me well. And I just wanted to share it with you guys. And yeah, so. I would give this hair definitely like a 8 out of 10 probably because I didn't, I really didn't have any problems with it at all. And as you see, it still looks good. Like I could literally wear this another couple months. Any questions, leave them down below. You can find it at your local beauty supply store or you can actually find it online. And that's pretty much it for this video, you guys. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, if you like the style. If you want to know how I braid my hair um, for crochet braids, I usually do them all different depending on what type of style that I'm going for. But you guys can leave me a comment down below, whatever kind of questions that you have, and I will be sure to answer them as soon as possible, you guys. And until next time, I'll talk to y'all later.